Hey guys, Berto here with MBG, and today we're going to take a look at an awesome way to learn the new Digimon card game. A while back on Facebook, I saw a post about a fan-made game that people have been using to play the card game. The awesome thing about this game is that now you can play multiplayer with other people. Now, not all decks, not all cards are included yet, but they're rolling out updates, and so far, everything looks awesome. If you guys would like to give this a try, the Patreon for this is a bit nerd. Uh, links in the description below. And I'm pretty sure he would appreciate you guys signing up, testing the game out. There's a system to report bugs, anything you like, anything you want to see. The guy is really responsive, and I can't say enough how well he's done with this game so far. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we have it. Okay, so we can see here we have local play, we have online play, there's a deck builder, options, credit, and obviously to exit the game. Um, the options is cool. We can see here, you can actually put in your nickname and then confirm it and then it'll stay there. Um, once it's all set up. Um, you can look at volume here. You have your master volume, your music volume. I turn the music all the way down. It's just, you know, pretty repetitive, just loops. And then your effects volume as well. And then on your music, you can actually choose what song you want to be playing. Granted, over and over again. Uh, but it is nice to have that option. If we look at the deck builder here, I actually have not built a deck yet. I'm still trying to get the mechanics of the game down. But you can see we've got yellow, red, blue so far. And from what I understand, Omnimon was supposed to be on here already. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's uh, Omnimon right there. So we, he's uh, updating these cards as he goes. He's, uh, and they're doing a pretty good job. The, the mechanics. Um, there are very few bugs from what I've seen so far. Of course, you got the cards. You got the card sleeves. That's pretty nice. Oh, I like this old school look. That's pretty awesome. You can choose your play mat. Then there you go. Just shows uh, what the starter decks are going to look like. You can go through. I think you can load these and actually edit these as they are. So you'll see the names here. Oh gosh, I hated using this deck. And then when you're done, you just go back to character and you can just back out. Okay, so that was the deck builder. And then you also have this online. Now the online's pretty cool. Um, all you do is you go to host, type in your name, whatever it might be, type in your password, and then you give that to whoever you want to play with. Uh, it's that simple, okay? Now, once you put in your host name and the password, and your friends do this as well, you'll both see this screen here, and then you can choose whatever deck you decided to make. Now, it leaves you a bunch of spots. So, I mean, you can make so many decks out of this, it's crazy. And you'll actually see your friend over here on this side when they sign in. Now to go back, let's go ahead and do a little gameplay. To play locally, it's pretty easy. Hit local, obviously. You'll select your deck. Let's just do ties, why not? And you can also select your AI's deck. Let's do the one I hated, Mimi's. You can also edit your deck if you choose to. Again, you know, look at your cards your sleeves, play mat, all the stuff you can edit right before you start the game. So when you think you're ready, just go ahead and hit start. Uh, haven't been the best at this, so this could be a, an easy loss. And they've done an awesome job. I mean, the graphics, the gameplay, uh, every little thing is, is really good. The first version was like 1.2, and it actually had tutorials built in, which really helped me learn uh, the ins and outs. Now, this version doesn't have the tutorial. I wonder if they'll bring it back in, but 
Wow. The game hasn't been released yet, so. All right, Dracomon. So it's my hatching phase. Oh, look at that. We're already seeing a bug. So it didn't let me hatch anything. So that's a, a bummer. But like stuff like this doesn't happen very often. But when it does, usually what I'll do is just right away. General. And we'll just restart that game. Again, this is totally a fan made game. So. Okay, so we go ahead and. Ooh. What? Let's try this again. Restart the game. Look, you can even choose game speed, which is pretty cool. Let's just hope it doesn't skip me. Look, I go first. Ching phase. What is this? Maybe this whole game is, uh, is bugged. Okay, did not mean to do that. Let's try this one more time. My turn again. Hatching phase. It let me hatch my Digimon. Thank goodness. Uh, but I have no level threes and I'm right at zero. So at this point, I think I'm just going to eat it. I'm going to put that five out there. Good decision, bad decision. I don't know, guys. Still learning. It's all right. Now, the thing with the Mimi deck that they have is it's got like three different colors. So a lot of times you kind of get stuck. Dang, they got a blocker out already and TK. Okay, what are we gonna do? Oh, there we go. Oh, hatching phase, you know, you can pass by clicking. I think the actual tutorial app is like that as well. Okay, so we digivolved there. Can't pull them out, because I missed it on my hatching phase. Um, let's try. Oh, it's a level four, that's why. Okay. This is great, because I should be able to destroy that guy. What? On play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with blocker. He's got blocker. Maybe it's because I evolved into him and I didn't play him directly. Who knows? All right. My turn. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. And we will... Should I attack? The problem is if I attack this stupid TK, it's definitely going to destroy me. Oh, man. So I don't want to attack just yet. I will Digivolve. I've probably played this game so wrong, but I'm going with it. If you feel like this animation is too slow, remember you can always speed the game up in the options. Okay, so let's hatch. Let's get, um, get our Agumon on there. Nice. Get Greymon on here. Nice. Okay, I think we're going to be good to attack here. When did you evolving? Ooh, yeah, I did that wrong, didn't I? Let's go ahead and attack. 
And, see, I don't really want to attack with him. This Digimon checks one additional security card. That's great, but, well, this Digimon has four or more Digivolution cards, gives a thousand. Oh. I think I'm going to hold on to him, because if I die there, that would kind of suck. We only have two out right now. Go ahead and Digivolve. Maybe I could win next turn. It's possible. Oh, crap. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, shoot. I should have pulled him out. That was stupid. That was really stupid. There's a little four. Probably not smart. Cool. Cool. Hey, that works. And I'm going to lose three after this, so I got to be. Five, five. Yeah. There's no blocker. Nope. And maybe I'll just play this dude out here. Yep. Yep. Oh, give him a lot of memory on that. Shoot. And they have a blocker out. Would this be crazy? Mm. I think I'm going to do it. YOLO. Just going for it. Just tearing down my people. See if their blocker attacks. If their blocker attacks, I'll be solid. Ooh. Oh, nice. I got three, though. Okay, so now. Digivolve here. Five. Do I got a four? Nope, no four. <clears throat> Cost me three. Oh, but if I attack. Again, we have a blocker there. Oh, shoot. Decisions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't see how I can win this round. Let's try this. Okay. Ooh, I got a four now. It cost me two. Okay. 
if I... Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, there's one. Oh, nice. Which one do I want to destroy? Hope that was a good choice. Really up to two of your opponents is number four or less. Oh, man. Hey, I had a chance. I was almost there, but how the game goes thank you guys for checking this video out i appreciate y'all stopping in i know my tamer skills are not that great at the moment but i'm gonna be working on it if you like this video please hit that like button maybe think about subscribing to be part of the community and if you really like what he's doing with this game i encourage you to head over to patreon and support a bit nerd this kind of thing really helps build the community we're trying to be a part of if you haven't yet and you have time, check out my video of the three boxes I opened, which I'm also doing a giveaway for. Everyone stay safe. We'll catch y'all next time.